Good morning. It's time for our Thursday morning devotional. This week we have been uh, working toward uh, a Sunday where we will look at the triumphal entry of Jesus, where Jesus enters Jerusalem the week before the crucifixion, sort of in a final wave moving toward the cross. Uh, but he enters as a king, and there is definitely a statement we talked about. We talked about that in the Tuesday devotion. Then yesterday we looked at uh, a passage in Revelation uh, where sometime in, in our future too, Jesus Christ will return to finish, finish the work of arriving uh, and finish the work of rescuing us from sin. Uh, and, uh, and that also is a triumphal entry of, of sorts, uh, probably even more triumphal, right? Uh, and so today we're going to look at we're going to look at the event that happened right after, uh, right after Jesus arrived in Jerusalem, as told by Matthew. Uh, he goes to the temple and is troubled by what he sees there. Uh, so the text is Matthew twenty-one, twelve through seventeen. Then Jesus, meaning meaning then he just arrived, you know, on the donkey into the city in this what we call triumphal entry. Then Jesus went into the temple and threw out all those who were selling and buying there. He pushed over the tables used for currency exchange and the chairs of those who sold doves. He said to them, It is written, My house will be called a house of prayer, but you've made it a hideout for crooks. People who were blind and lame came to Jesus in the temple, and he healed them. But when the chief priests and legal experts saw the amazing things he was doing and the children shouting in the temple, Hosanna to the son of David, they were angry. They said to Jesus, Do you hear what these children are saying? Yes, he answered. Haven't, haven't you read from the mouths of babes and infants you've arranged praise for yourself? Then he left them and went out of the city to Bethany and spent the night there. <laughs> so Jesus arrives at the temple uh, the temple being the you know the holy place where people and God can interact, where worship happens and fellowship happens, uh, and uh, temple was was different, right? Because in the different then than it would be for us now, because because now it has been declared by Jesus that we are the temple, like wherever Jesus lives, right in our hearts, like we are the temple. And, and uh, and so it's it's a little different how we connect with God, uh, but but in in that day the temple was the place. I mean that it's not that they couldn't pray or talk to God in other places, but this was the connecting point. This was this was God's house in a more of a literal sense. Like they had a seat, a chair for God, and a a special place for God to God to sit in the holy of holies. And Jesus goes and he finds. And he finds uh, currency exchange, and he finds selling and buying, and 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 there's nothing wrong, probably, right, with uh, with people uh, offering uh, animals to sacrifice uh, for a, for a cost, so you don't have to travel with your animals when you make a, a pilgrimage to Jerusalem, and exchanging money because you're going to come from different places and all of that. Uh, but Jesus is calling these folks crooks. Uh, that where at, maybe not all of them, but many. Uh, so they're taking advantage of the people, and they're they're using you know, they're using this for profit. And where they were in the temple was in the in the place where Gentiles were allowed to be. Uh, and so if a Gentile wanted to connect with the Lord, uh, they would go and they would find all these stores there instead a marketplace. Uh, and and so Jesus Jesus is pretty angry and he kicks them out. And then and then he does in the temple what ought to be done in the temple he's healing he's healing the blind and the lame and he's uh and and he's sharing the love of god and and children are praising his name uh and so i i think as i as i look at this text and think about jesus anger and and really jesus passion for uh for god and people to inter interact uh and for there to be a place to do that i think of uh you know, it's hard not to think of our sanctuary, right? You know, places where we gather and we have a we have a hymn a hymnal song number one, the first one. What is this place? Uh, and it you know it talks about our sanctuary, our building space. Um, 
and it puts it in in correct context uh, but to in today's times where we're not where we, we can't gather in the intimate way that we would prefer uh, uh, we uh, it, it brings a little different meaning uh, and it's a good day to remind to be remember to to <laughs> I don't even know what that is to remember that uh, that it is it is not a requirement for us to connect with God that we be in a sanctuary uh, like a building space uh, uh, that all that that need was gone with the resurrection and uh, of Jesus and uh, and yet there is something special about gathering in a space and setting a space aside uh, for people to to connect with God so as we reflect on that and what that means when we're doing worship over Zoom and in the building, uh, uh, I, I, it, it, it's interesting. But let's let's sing the song. What is this place? What is this place where we are meeting? Only a house, the earth, its floor, walls and a roof, sheltering people, windows for light, an open door. Yet it becomes a body that lives when we are gathered here and know our God is near. Words from afar, stars that are falling, sparks that are shown in us like seed, names for our God, dreams, signs, and wonders sent from the past are what we need. We in this place remember and speak again what we have heard, God's free redeeming word. And we accept bread at his table, broken and shared, a living sign. Here in this world, dying and living, we are each other's bread and wine. This is the place where we can receive what we need to increase, God's justice and God's peace. Let us spend some uh, time reflecting on what it means to gather uh, and what it means to gather as uh, as community and as, as even virtual temple. What ought to happen? What kinds of things ought to happen uh, uh, in, in this place, in the temple, in the gathering uh, space, in the community of God's people? 